exchange rate is the value of one nation's currency versus the currency of another nation or economic zone. For example, how many US dollars does it take to buy one euro? As of September 24, 2021, the exchange rate was $1.1720, meaning it takes $1.1720 cents to buy one pound point one pounds meaning it takes one dollar point one seven two zero cents to buy one point one pounds most exchange rates are free floating and will rise and fall based on supply and demand in the market some exchange rates are not free floating and, and are paid to the value of other currencies and may have restrictions Typically, an exchange rate is called using an acronym for the national currency it represents. For example, the acronym USD represents US dollar, while EUR represents the euro. To call the currency pay for the dollar and euro, it would be Euro USD. In the case of Japanese yen, it's USD JPY or dollar to yen. An exchange rate of 100 would mean that one dollar is equal to 100 yen. Exchange rates can have what is called a spot rate or cash value, which is the current market value. Alternatively, alternatively an exchange rate may have forward value, which is based on expectations for the currency to rise or fall versus its spot price. Forward rate values may fluctuate due to changes in expectations for future interest rates in one country versus another. For example, let's say that traders have the view that the eurozone is monetary policy versus the US. In this case, traders could buy the dollar versus the euro, resulting in the value of the euro fall. China is one major example of a country that says this restructure. Additionally, China's yen is a currency that is controlled by the government. Every day, the Chinese government sets a midpoint value for the currency, allowing the yen to trade in a band of 2% of midpoint. John is traveling to Germany from his home in New York and he wants to make sure that he has $200 worth of euros when he, run, when he arrives in Germany. He goes to the local currency exchange shop and sees their current rate is $1.20. It means that if he exchanges $200, he will get £166.66 he will get £166.66 in return. In this case, the equation is dollars divided by exchange rate equals to euro, or $200 divided by 1.20 equals to 166.66 pounds. John is returning from the trip and he now wants to exchange his euros for dollars. He never used his 166.66 pounds and now sees the exchange rate is drove to 1.15. He exchanges his 166.66 pounds and because the rate fell when he was away, he receives only $191.67. The reason gets less despite having the same value of euro is that the euro weakened versus the dollar during the time his time away. In this case, the equation is opposite. Euros times exchange rate equals to dollars, or 166.66 pounds times 1.15 equals to 191.66 dollars. However, not all currencies work the same way. For example, the Japanese yen is calculated differently. In this case, the dollar is placed in front of the yen, as in USDJPY. The equation for USDJPY is dollars times exchange rate equals to yen. Let's say someone traveling to Japan wants to convert $100 into yen and the exchange rate is 110. The traveler would get 11,000 yen. To convert yen back to dollars, one needs to divide the amount of the currency by the exchange rate. $100 times 110 equals to 11,000 yen or 11,000 yen divided by 110 equals to $100. A reciprocal currency is the in the foreign exchange market is a currency pay that involves the US dollar without the USD saving is the base currency. The foreign exchange forex is the conversion of one currency to another. JPY is the currency abbreviation or the currency which are simple for Japanese yen, the currency of Japan. A key currency is a currency with a, rel with a relatively stable value that uses a benchmark for international contracts trade and foreign exchange. A clean float also known as a pure exchange rate, occurs when the value of a currency is determined purely by supply and demand. A funding currency is exchanged in a currency territory.